Uh, she says, I think some kids need to be given and shown more mercy than others. It depends on the temperament of the child. Can you talk about the four temperaments? Yeah, so I really agree that uh, with each child, you really have to parent um, in a separate way. Any any time that really we try and apply any sort of leadership, not just parenting, this this applies universally um, to to priests, you know, in, in pastoring and and any form of leadership, you have to lead each person in their own way, but you also have to do it in a fair way for each person, right? So you don't want one person looking across and saying, well, why do you treat them different than I do? Um, and I actually think an important distinction to make is the uh, is the difference between being the same and being equal. Uh, so oftentimes people want the same treatment for everyone. However, the point that you're making that, look, some kids need need different types of parenting means that they really don't need the same. Uh, what they need is, is equal parenting or equal uh, treatment so that, you know, one is not given preference over the other, but rather uh, really each is given what they need based on their own uh, dispositions and, and talents and, and history and all those different things. Uh, so to, to kind of give... Uh, an image. Um, and, and I think I'm going to use an, an image that is mathematical, but I think that the error that people make whenever they say that to be the same is the same as to be equal uh, is that they're beginning to, to just think in mathematical terms, right? Because four is the same as four and four equals four. Therefore, you know, four and four have to be exactly the same. But you can even use math to show their error in which, you know, two plus two equals four, but two plus two is not the same as four, right? Four is a number, two plus two is an equation. And so because those two are, are different, you, you use them differently, you treat them differently, um, even though they may add up to the same thing. And so in the same way uh, with dealing with people, you need to treat them equally, but you don't need to treat them the same based on things like their temperament, their history, their skill set, their, you know, your relationship with them and all these different things. Um, to speak on the, the four temperaments, I, uh, I really don't uh, get really into all of the categories that you can put people in and the ways that you know, people categorize personalities and things like that, especially when it's uh, particularly simple. Um, so like the, the Myers-Briggs test or the four temperaments and things like that, I really consider that to be uh, almost harmful in how we understand people. So I think what's beautiful about each of those is that it, it helps us understand that different people are different and uh, they're going to respond in different ways to different uh, situations and we need to be aware of that and be ready for that and really even value the different people in each of the things that they bring to the table by their uh, different strengths and weaknesses or temperaments or whatever word you want to use. Um, however, if we begin to think too much in just, you know, four categories or, you know, you're either, you know, one or two, you're, you're uh, thinking or feeling, you're, you're, you're judging or I don't even know what all the Myers-Briggs things are. Um, but, you know, it, if we begin to think about people in that simple of a way, we lose the complexity of the person that each human being is, is totally unique. Um, and yeah, if we, if we lose that, if we forget that we begin to treat people like objects as, as repeatable, um, things that we can put into boxes and categories. And really that's not, not how human beings are. And so I actually stay away from too much of the temperament thing. So I can't really speak into those four. Sorry about that. However, I do agree that each person needs to be uh, treated, parented, led, pastored in a unique way.